I'm saying. Share stuff when I can. But it's back to getting organized because as I talked about at AX, the scope of the game. Oh, here, this guy asked the question, is that enough progress going good? Not overwhelming yourself? It is a tiny bit overwhelming. I think just because, like, the scope has grown for the update. I mean, the game itself has its set scope. But for the update, there was a certain amount we were thinking about putting out. And then... It's not so much that we're expanding it, but it's like individual tiny pieces have kind of grown to be a bit larger than we thought. Which I'll talk about at large once it's out. Um... I can't exactly say when that'll be. And like I said in the AX stream, you know, when it is out, I think you'll all see why it took the time it did. Uh, and I think you'll be happy with the pieces that are in it. I keep an eye on like some of the mods that have been coming out, and... I don't know, it's interesting. The mods do do a lot of creative things, but I still feel like the modder... I feel like even, like... People are looking forward to new content, and modders will appreciate what's in the new update. So that's exciting. Uh, I will say it is like, it is a bit soul wrenching that it just keeps taking so long, but the quality of this stuff is really good. And, you know, we've brought on like help to the project, and they're slowly kind of getting trained in the ways of how we do things. So even like the helpers are slowly like getting faster at everything. And we're getting better at organizing and like utilizing the help of the helpers. Yeah, if we do keep adding stuff, it will keep delaying. That is true. I will say though, it's not so much scope creep. It's sometimes finding out that certain things that seemed simple are actually harder than we realized. So like that's that's a way that the scope grows. But then we have to go back and rework certain things to be either just functional or up to the par of quality of other things. Uh, so I think that's that's the biggest thing because I don't want any element of the game to under deliver or be kind of like underutilized in how they function or work. Because I do also want to make sure that like we're going through lengths to make sure that a lot of the pieces stay modular even though the way that the game works kind of is going through like these underlying changes oh 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 but then it's also weird because once again if this is a f this is like full game development and on one hand, uh, like, a as tiny pieces are wrapping up, I'm thinking about pieces that are further off and starting to coordinate those. Because, you know, I don't just want us to be sitting around finishing up one piece. You know, I want us to always, the individual, like, cogs of the gears and machine, I want them to all be going. So, that is also challenging that as certain things are wrapping up, you can't. You don't really just get to kick back and relax. You know, there's a full game to make. There's got to be future pieces in production, even if they're not going to be part of an update, and they do stay like things that'll be just console exclusive. But I think that's also okay. It's fun to like look towards doing new things. Um, but yeah, there there is just like an unfun aspect of just like organization skills, and that'll be more on our end. But then that just means that in the long run, the better we get organization the better that making the overall game goes. I spent like a lot of time when I was out at AX talking to people in LA talking about how they organize their projects because we've kind of gone on our end from freeballing it to kind of following a bit more of like a rigid structure and trying to establish like better pipelines. But yeah, I think this is more, I know these answers aren't very juicy. These are probably more things that any hardcore followers will be interested to know, but I'm sure that like aren't exactly thrilling but generally it all adds up to good stuff i think everybody that's working on it right now is like we're reaching a good point where rather than being like stressed out or nervous that we're all kind of just like happy and like finding our own little grooves and there's always tiny little pieces to play with and mess with uh and yeah i like that 
I like that, and I feel like I'm also finding ways to squeeze in tiny extra things in the weights for other things. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, it's so tempting to just say what certain things are, but I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. I'm just trying to squeeze in tiny bits of love. I mean, even if it's just additional animation, even just like making sure that certain animations are juicy. Uh, I originally promised myself that I would never try too, too hard on any of the assets, but I've broken that rule over my fucking knee, really, because now we're definitely putting like a lot of juice into the stuff that we're doing. We're not really sparing too much of like expense or like effort, but yeah, I miss, I kind of do miss the days of just like shitting something out. I'm sure a lot of you who have been around from the start remember times where we would release updates that were like borderline broken at the start that would get fixed over the next couple days. But, you know, we're men now. We can't do that. Things have to come out and they have to work well. I think, I think uh, there's a lot of people who of course have like super high expectations. Uh, so we want to make sure that like the polish is high and that everything is very pretty. I'm still trying to find ways to offload certain responsibilities from us. I think a lot about how like certain mangaka in Japan got to focus just on making the manga that they're working on and not really focus on other aspects. Like they weren't coordinating who's going to publish it in Shonen Jump or things like that. You know, they're just purely focused on drawing the pages and doing solely that. Right now, like me and Cameron especially have like a lot of responsibilities and like coordinating everything that's going on with the helpers and like other aspects. So still, still the challenge of making sure that we're bringing on like the right people who can offload those things from us. You have any advice for newer mod creators in the FNF fandom? Uh, not really. Just have fun. Just have fun, and if make sure that you like it. I mean, if you like what you're making, other people will like it. And I mean, that's still the golden rule that we're following. Is like we're just putting stuff into the game that we think is cool. And maybe that's a stupid way to work, but I feel like if you do that, you just can't go wrong with stuff. Though, there is still the challenge of putting in things that we think are cool, but making sure that we're not just doing so much that it just takes a fucking eternity. So, that's what we're balancing out. 